Hey, what's up? This is Don and welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial on Motion Squared. And uh, today I am going to be showing you how to create this um, freezing or sort of icing over effect. This is uh, actually very, very simple, so this shouldn't take too long. Um, I'm going to close this and um, this model, by the way, is um, is from the prime section uh, of the, my Cinema 4D install under the humans subfolder. Uh, I used this Fred, this Fred and Lisa, but I used Fred. So if you want to go ahead and use the same model, you can, but uh, this effect can be used on um, on anything that you can apply a texture onto. Anyway, um, this is what the scene looks like in the viewport so you can actually get a very good preview of uh, what's happening before you even render and uh, let me show you how i did this so i'm gonna go ahead and create a new texture and i am gonna load up uh, the original image i used for this effect and uh, this is it right here so it's just a picture of frost on what seems to be maybe just glass and um, the only thing you need to keep in mind when selecting an image is that you want something that has um, a lot of detail and also a lot of contrast so here we can clearly see some uh, brighter areas and we have some darker areas this is because um, to achieve the effect we are essentially going to animate the contrast and uh, we do that in a way that first of all reveals the brightest areas so if we look at this texture um, say this branch here or this section here it would uh, first start to appear from the center and then the thickest part of the line would appear and as the contrast continues being uh, animated the smaller sections these sort of little branches shooting out will then start to appear as well. And uh, just by doing that, um, you will sort of emulate what happens in real life when uh, frost forms over, you know, some kind of uh, object. You know, the thickest areas or the densest areas appear first and then sort of smaller branches shoot off from that. So that's the theory, I guess, behind it. Uh, let me show you how to pull off the effect in cinema. So I am going to just uh, open this image and the first thing I want to do is to apply a filter. Go in here and colorize this so it is black and white. And then I'm going to copy this and uh, go to the alpha channel and this is where all the magic is going to happen. So if I just paste the channel here uh, you will see that uh, our texture has sort of become opaque. Uh, this is exactly what we want. I'm going to just remove the original texture that I used to, to do the effect. And let me apply the new one onto here. And uh, I've just applied that onto the missing texture. So it's inherited all of the properties which I had set before. Uh, this was just to make sure that the texture looked fine on the model, but you know, you can try other projection modes and whatever and you were probably using a different model. So um, most likely you will have different settings. Anyway, if I render this now, you can see this is pretty much uh, how we want the final frame to look. Uh, minus, you know, we don't have any depth yet. Uh, this looks very flat, but as far as how we want the final uh, frost uh, to look we're pretty much there so let's uh, animate it to start off as nothing and then slowly cover the whole model to do this I'm gonna go to the uh, alpha channel and uh, inside this filter that we created we want to animate the low clip uh, value so if I enable clipping uh, what clipping does basically is set um, a threshold. So, for example, if I set this to 50, what uh, this is saying basically is any value here 
uh, in terms of gray value any value below 50% is going to get clipped down to zero so if I jump back to my model and render again you can see now we have less white and um, it's as if the frost hasn't completely covered the model yet so all we have to do now is uh, take this a step further and uh, animate this so let's start all the way at 100% and if I hold control I can set the first keyframe here uh, I need to be on frame 0 to do this and if I go to the last frame I can set my low clip all the way back down to 0 and then I'll set another keyframe Another thing I'm also going to do is to just um, go to my timeline here and uh, make sure that my keyframe interpolation is set to linear. That's just because I prefer this style of animation for this particular effect, but um, of course it's up to you uh, how you want your animation to, to progress. So now you can see in our preview we're getting somewhere. This uh, preview is very low res, so I'm going to go in here and go to the editor section and let's set this to say 1024 just so we can see a bit clearer what is happening. And uh, what is happening is the most dense areas are appearing first and then the sort of softer parts of the ice texture appear after and it looks very organic and very realistic and uh, all of that simply by just animating the low clip value it's really that simple uh, one final step to complete the effect is to copy the color channel once again and we just want to add some uh, depth and volume to our um, icing over texture because right now it's completely flat so if I go to the normal uh, map here. Um, I'm using the normal map um, and I'm going to do this with the normalizer effect which uh, I think can only be found in versions 14 and, uh, and onwards. Um, if you don't have the normalizer effect you can uh, just use bump. Uh, I just prefer uh, the normal effect personally. Anyway, I'm going to go in here and paste uh, this channel and I will set the strength to 100. Uh, I've done this before so I know that 100% uh, is going to work well for, for this instance. And um, now when I render the final frame, uh, we have our ice uh, frosting over the texture below and uh, we also have uh, a bit of depth and uh, sort of uh, texture and volume to it using that normal map and uh, this is what the final effect is going to look like but um, that's it uh, from me I hope you learned something new and uh, most of all enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next one bye